What's up, you guys? Welcome to the newest episode of Rudy Riggs Fishing. So guys, we are marking what we believe to be some mackerel here. This is the Saco River. Welcome back. And uh, we are trying to catch some live bait to throw on a hook and um, then use that to climb up the food chain and catch ourselves a little striper here. Or a big striper. I'd prefer a big one. But anyway, we'll be back, guys. See if we can catch some mackerel and uh, stay tuned. So we've got a little sabiki rig set up. Three hooks with our little weighted jig at the bottom there to kind of get us down. Now, I've never caught a mackerel. Jake, have you? Jake's never either, so this is a first for us. Take, take. You on? Take. Wow, Jake's on the mat. Oh, he lost it. Thank you, man. What's your name? I got a circle right through like the jaw. Yeah, right up through. Oh, look at that big keeper. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, go for the Woo Thank you, man. Yeah, well, that's like the nicest way to be a, the nicest thing you can do in fishing. Oh, my goodness. Take a snap, Jake. Take a snap and flip it in there. Yeah, yeah. That's all I need to tell. Slide bait. <laughs> Jake, I think we're in, dude. <laughs> That's a shad, guys. Beautiful striper bait. Oh, come on, come on, Jake. Nice, nice. I'm gonna flip it in. It's recording. <laughs> oh, hey, everything happens for a reason. We're super happy you came by. Thank. Right, What's yeah. your name? Carl. Carl Jacob. Jacob, nice to, nice to meet I'm you. I'm also Jacob. Like, yeah. Candy. All right, man. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah, made our day. Dude, did he really just give us 15 shad? <laughs> he goes, oh look, you're mocking him. <laughs> Check. On again? Yeah, I just got hit. Hold on, I can't help here. That's a good size one. That's our bait. Alewife, he said, huh? Alewives. So guys, we managed to catch Jake, you caught two, three? Uh, two. Two, I caught one alewife. And this is our most successful sabiki rig. They're more in number than the pink ones I had. There was only three on mine. They may be a little bit bigger as well. Um, but this color, the green, and the increased number, I think played into the fact that Jake's um, sabiki worked a little bit better than mine. That's important to note. We've got fish still jumping all over the place. I'm gonna show you guys our live well. Uh, a couple of them may be dead, but they're still kicking in there, active as ever. And those are good-sized fish. If we catch a striped bass on one of those, it's going to be huge. Yeah, as I said, it kind of rules out the smaller fish if you have a huge bait. Exactly. That's a great point, Jake. So, thank you, Carl. Um, if you check out the channel, you're the man. Carl, if you see the channel, give us your address. We'll send you your net back. Yes. Carl did leave his net with us, so we need to return that somehow. So, you, I hope he follows the channel. Um, anyway, guys. Stick around. We'll show you how to rig one of these bad boys up and then bring in a striped bass. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! So we're gonna take one of the alewife and put our circle hook right through their jaw, the bottom right up through the top. Make sure you miss the brain or you'll kill them. We want these guys lively down there. Uh, so the striped bass come in and hit them. And we are attaching our hook to our line with a small loop knot. Uh, just to hopefully allow our bait to present a little bit more naturally down in the water. I have a really good feeling about this, guys. I think Jake does too. Um, do. We're getting ready. We'll be back in the water in just a minute. That is where we're headed. Striped Bass Central. And the heart of Biddeford, Maine. 
we caught our first bait and uh, we're making it happen today. Met some great people on the water. I think we're gonna bring in a big striper today. So guys, these are tricky waters here. Um, you can barely see it, but there is a little like stone wall that connects all the way from the side out to this island. And so I believe, I just told Jake that we wanna go right around it and then up to the left. So guys, right through that jaw. Boom, just like so. Send them in. Guys, I'm on to a striped bass. First one of the season, it feels big. Oh boy. Jake's getting the net. Oh, that didn't take long. Oh my gosh. He is fighting the whole way. Hey, listen to that. Hey, let him run. Fire him out, buddy. Oh. Yep. Oh. Oh, this is crazy. All right, I'm gonna move to the left side. Try and bring him up on the right. Bring him in smooth, smooth and smooth. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Enjoy it. That's bring, a bring monster. Him in, bring him in. That's a monster. Oh, oh buddy. Oh. Yep. Yeah. No rush. Ooh. All right. You ready? Bring it on up. Slow and smooth. Smooth and slow. Slow and smooth. Smooth and fast. Bring it in. Right there. And in. Okay. <laughs> Circle is right in the jaw. That's got to be my biggest. Guys, Jake, thank you for the net job. Main striped bass, let's get him back in the water. Get a measurement. Didn't take long. All right, ready? Let's see if we can get the release. Oh, Jake, 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 watch. Oh, oh, Jake is Dude, just getting cool. smacked. I gotta get back on. I'm getting hit. Yep, I saw that. That's big. Okay, I'm gonna go to the side. You come through. I'm going to go and grab the net. Yeah, keep him tight. He's going back there. Go back Jake, there. He's, he's right here. Go back. Keep him tight. I'm bringing mine in. You're good. I'm going to come around the front left of the boat, the front right of the boat up there behind you. Okay. No, he's still, he's still got fight in him. He's still got fight. Feisty. That's a big boy. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. Hey, God bless the spotlight. In. That's big. That's I think that's bigger than mine. That's how it's done. Hey, we both officially done it. Ready? That's awesome. Hold her up. Beautiful. Boom. Uh, okay, measuring tape is in my bag. Keep him in the water. Give him a little air just in case. Just in case. He's not going to kick that thing. But that's fine. We'll get him right back in the water. Water you switch it. Oh, I'm getting hit. Hold on. Just let it, let it take it completely. Yeah, I'm, oh! Let it take it completely. I'm getting hit. Ready? I think he took the, I Ready? think Come he... On. Come on. Okay. I'm reeling in. Here, I'm gonna go, you, you're gonna go uh, under me. Yeah. Tired out now, he's coming right in. Sorry, never mind, I lied. This feels like a, a good one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's bigger than what he was putting up a fight for. Nice, number three. That's fat. 
just <laughs> fat, guys. Just fat. And these circle hooks are excellent, huh? Right in the jaw every single time. That's how you do it, main straight fast. Now we need to pinch the tail. Man, it's deceiving. Your 36 incher must have been insane. Almost had another one, man. That was crazy. You out too? Where, dude, this is the best day of fishing I've ever had. Me too. Yeah, this is this is pretty awesome. Not, I haven't gotten the numbers yet, but like you can imagine how you could. Yeah. If you stood here for hours. Yeah, yeah. You eventually catch 20. We'll be we'll be both be hooked up again in a minute. Hey, you know it's a good day when you can't drink your beer. Oh yeah. Yep. I got the net right here, buddy. I think. I can't tell which way. He might be coming towards us. No, I'm off. I'm off. Dang. Stay focused. Stay focused. I let him have it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Keep that constant, consistent tension. Got you. Don't, don't try to force him. Just try to tire him out. I think he's on. Oh my gosh, look at that jump. Yes, number two, baby. <laughs> We're in the net. We're in the boat. <laughs> nice job, Jake. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> As you can see by the way that it is, we've completed the uh, all food chain challenge. We caught some bait. Old Carl hooked us up with a couple as well. And uh, we're both at two stripers a piece. All healthy size, all catch and release. Let back quickly. Um, make sure you're doing that. If you guys are striper fishing, trout fishing, take good care of the fish. It's a natural resource. Yeah, the entire fishery depends on us. Yeah, honestly, like there's a bunch of other people right now, and if we were all just like trashing these fish, um, there wouldn't be any fish. And that's why they've changed the slot this year to that three inch that I was mentioning. Nice, you're on. Yeah, good. You can stay out there. I'll build a, I'll build a net. You care? He's tired now. Let me get the whole thing on. Jake, thank, you, thank God this was on your rod, not mine. See, yours would have. Oh, oh, oh that thing's oh, huge. Shoot. That's huge. That thing is massive. I just saw a shimmer of white and silver. I love when they pull that drag, man. There's nothing like it. It, it just doesn't get old. Oh. What's your bet? 28.5. Uh, 28.5, okay, we'll see. Pull out the old tape measure. No, he's a keeper for sure, Jake. Look at that. That's huge. Ready? He's still going, he's still going. He's got fight in him yet. Oh, that's, that's, that's log. Bring him up to me. That's definitely slot. Here, tape, do you have the tape measure? Dude. That's the one. I think that's the one. That's uh, that's 29.30 for oh, sure, I think. Man, my arm, my Here. wrist. Jake, we have got ourselves a 30-incher right on the nose. As far as presentation goes, we're really not doing much with our bait. Unfortunately, the shad ran out of oxygen in the live well because we had like 20 of them but thanks to Carl and a few of our own <laughs> but uh what a name Carl the man Jake, here Jake. Oh, that would have been crazy dude just stay tuned stay tuned keep talking stick around but we're really doing minimal as far as presentation these guys are dead and they're floating on top water so we're literally watching the striped bass come up and just smack them on the surface it's crazy Hello, happy people. Uh, good morning, happy people. This is Rob Arrington. This is, we're looking to deer meat for dinner. 
So remember the release we're gonna do here. No. We're lucky that that didn't just hit us in the face. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen. You just caught that in your hand. It hit me in the chest. What just happened? So I don't know if you guys just saw that. The striped bass just kicked Jake's lure, which is sad and unfortunate. Yeah. But I just want to say Jake somehow just caught the hook in his hand. It, that could have like smacked us in the face, Dude, in the glasses. eye. Wear glasses when you're Yeah, doing that's, though. yeah, that was just. Dude, doubled up. Doubled up. Oh, Jake, this is the keep. This is the, this, this is bigger than the other. Oh my. Get, get him out of there because I will be after you, brother. This guy might be for. <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> pig, 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 we're tired. We're uh, we're ready to get back, clean up this keeper size striper and call it a day. Look at this weather we have today. You can't beat it. What a day, man. Thanks for bringing me out. The best day I've had on the water in this boat yet. That's for sure, dude. Honestly, me too. Uh, Last year, we spent many hours on Saco River learning the route and uh, the ropes, so to speak. And now we've learned. We really like know what to do. Yeah, it feels crazy to actually know exactly how to do it. You know, it's like one of those things where um, Carl came up and gave us 20 years worth of experience in like 10 seconds. Literally. So, like he, you know, caught all those shad, obviously. He gave us how many shad? 15? Yeah. We caught like, what, three of our own? Yeah. So we came up down here with 18 shad, and we caught, I mean, nine or eight giant, giant fish. Yeah. I mean, and two we, got off last second, one for you, like a couple got off for me. And I even asked him when he gave them to me, I said, You're giving us these eight inch shad? Do they really eat these? And he's like, Oh, yeah. I just, and then he opens his live well and shows us a monster. So. We had a pretty good feeling from the get-go, plus we're catching some of our own, and this is really special. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did, because man, this was just, this is a day in the books that I'll never forget. Um, thanks for watching, stick around. We'll be back either tomorrow morning or soon. Same time, same place, stay fishing.